Hello, Geminis. Welcome to your tarot reading. So I feel like this is going to be a quite an exciting month for a lot of you. And I feel like it's a culmination type of a month where it's time for you to kind of flex your muscles and get out there into the world and to try to see if you're going to float or sink. So this is the month where I feel like, you know, um, you've been working on things. You've been kind of like... Uh, finalizing things, putting the final touches on some things, and you're bringing them forth into the world. And I do feel as well, there's a lot of networking opportunities, a lot of opportunities kind of like lining up one by one for future endeavors, future collaboration, future projects. And so I feel like it's a little bit of a busy month. It's not too overwhelming where you're going to be running yourself ragged, but I feel like there are a lot of uh, deadlines. There are a lot of like um, timelines that needs to be met, that needs to be, you know, held stringently uh, too. And so I feel like, you know, everything needs to be accounted for for this month. Every hour, every minute, things need to be accounted for. Um, I'm also feeling as well, they mentioned there are a lot of options on the table regarding work. And I also feel like um, there is a work partnership coming into the picture. So you might, you know, ally with someone and uh, become a partner to them. And I'm feeling a lot of you who might be in the um, medical or the law profession, you might be, you might have been like an associate and they're making you a partner. Um, you might have shared a space with them and now they want you on board as their partner, as like an equal, you know, partner where you split the um, the cost of running a practice. So that could be law, that could be medical, that can be like, you know, in a clinical setting. They're making you partner. You you split the cost, the overhead fees, but you also split the revenue. So I feel like there's an escalation when it comes to your overall professional um, achievements and also your financial achievements okay so it's a, it's a major major uptick I don't feel like it's a, a gradual escalation I feel like it's major and I'm also feeling as well uh, relationships are going to be front and center for this month relationship with uh, with another person in business or in romance and I feel like relationships overall are going to be um, taken to the next level, whatever that means. So contractually, it could be work partnership being taken to the next level where you sign contracts, you agree on, you know, 50-50 split or you agree on like a 70-30 split, whatever the arrangement works for you. But I feel like it's going to create a lot of new clients that are coming in. It's also going to solidify your financial foundation. And then on the other hand, there's also the relationship, escalation in relationship, like in commitment. So proposals, I feel, is highly in store for some of you, as well as like um, having a clear sense of direction that, you know, whoever you're with, that they want the same things as you do. So it's like forward momentum, two people moving on forward together in the same direction. And overall, I feel like it's a lot of positive things that are coming into the picture. Um, they're saying as well, lots of community, um, lots of like communi communication coming your way and community outreach is the word that I'm hearing, community, community outreach, communication. Um, so I feel like you're going to be very visible to the public this month. Uh, what you do, the people are going to hang on your every words. They will listen to what you have to say. I'm going to use this one. They will listen to what you have to say and they will hold you in high regards. And, you know, you have a lot of sway with your words, with your actions. So, you know, make sure your words match up with your actions and make sure, you know, you practice what you preach. Um, they say... There are some projects that are coming into the picture that you you kind of like, I feel like you have, you know, ample opportunities. And so it's not a month of lack. OK, it's not a month of lack. It's a month where there is a lot of abundance, but not all options are, I want to say, feasible in the time frame that you have. You might have commitment elsewhere. And so you have new things coming in, but you're not really sure, like, is it really worth my time? Can I really trust the people I'm on board with? Can I, you know, 
um, trust that we're not going to have creative differences? Can I trust that it's going to go the distance? So I feel like you're sitting down and really ruminating over. Um, you have to really think, is this worth it? Is is is, is it going to provide, you know, the best optimal outcome for everybody? So you're really thinking about how much work is involved, how much time you can devote to a specific project. And I feel like you're very hesitant about committing to something if it doesn't pass that common sense test. You're very hesitant about, I don't want to say yes to them and, you know, um, shortchange the work that I do, shortchange them, shortchange the quality is what I'm feeling. And I also feel like a lot of people are appraising, looking at, um, gauging the value of something and then giving somebody a quote. So I feel like a lot of you are doing that in whatever capacity. So you might be self-employed and uh, you might have some type of a business where you have to give somebody a quote. So I feel like you're listening to everything that they say they need. And then, you know, you're doing like the mental gymnastics in your head, you're doing the calculations, and then you you write down a number that you think all of that, that will, you know, include all your services, all your skills, all the labor, all the parts, and then you give them that final number as an estimate. And I feel like <clears throat> you don't budge. So it feels to me like you're very skilled at assessing you know what something is going to cost so i feel a lot of you in the appraising business or at least you know giving out some type of an appraisal some type of a final number some type of um you've got an extra card here some type of a uh final decision so i feel like the month itself i mean this spread looks so far i have done this is the seventh one that i'm i'm doing and this is probably the best spread compared to all the other ones um, but let's just go over this energy. Let me see, first of all, if there's anything else. Um, so first of all, um, l let me just talk about the spread because there are a few things that are jumping out at me. Um, let me talk about this, even though it is the last card, but this is what I was feeling here. This is a month about new beginnings, okay? New challenges that you have overcome in the past it has you know taught you the skills and the necessary like uh function so that you can move ahead and you can learn uh take everything that you've learned with you and start again start anew and you know uh be in this space where you can still work in a very harmonious way with other people but you know where you stand and you know that this is a kind of like that turning point in your life okay this is a very very decisive type of a month are we going to float or are we going to swim um sink are we going to need the assistance from other people or are we capable of doing things on our own so i feel like this is a month where you're going to put yourself out there and you're really going to push yourself past your limits you're really going to challenge yourself to to do things faster to do things better and I also feel like, you know, it's going to come with its own set of challenges, but there will be magnificent rewards. OK, so this is the month where you find out what you're really made of. I do feel for some of you, uh, the judgment card and the nine of pentacles came out together. The nine of pentacles basically indicates some type of a home based business. It indicates self-employment. It indicates a situation where. Uh, money like making your money grow for you investing in your own business investing in your own human capital investing in things that will generate income for you and what this denotes to me and this is also you know the mercury retrograde energy if you are in a capital intensive um, type of a job where you have a lot of machinery where you have a lot of like you know even like printers um, scanners I'm seeing for some of you methods of communication like computers so if you are surrounded constantly by you know um things that are that depreciate over time you know machinery and, and those things come to mind i feel like the money is going to go towards transforming the work through buying new equipment getting things repaired and i feel like it might be a good month for you to you know if you are watching this in the tail end of November, today is 
the 28th that I'm doing this recording. Um, do your inventory. See what items um, you know need repairs and see if there is wear and tear or if there are things that you need to restock on because this is kind of like hitting the ground running. It's a very, very potent energy, but I feel like there are some things um, behind the scenes like inventory, machinery, things that you rely on, on the for the everyday operations of a job or especially of a self-employed gig, I feel that you're gonna need to make sure everything is up and running smoothly before you charge on ahead in this month. And I do feel there's gonna be heavy investment that is necessary in your business to fix these things, to buy new equipment, to buy new things, okay? So inventory check comes to mind, and this is something that you need to do, especially if you are business owners. So having said that, let me talk about the first card. We have the sun and in terms of the sun this is a very magnificent month when it comes to business when it comes to your reputation when it comes to your professional image and when it comes to overall career success and forward movement and momentum and you know getting things uh, going the way that you want getting positive reception being in the limelight having a lot of positive feedback so for all of you out there, if you've had any negative, you know, energies that you've been battling with, like self-doubt or even uh, people who are, you know, throwing negativity your way, like telling you that, oh, you should do it like this. You're not really grasping the concept or whatever it is that has really held you back coming into this month you're going to feel very el elated and you're going to feel very, very capable and confident as to what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, and how to maximize your strength to get you going in the professional direction that you want. And it's linked up here with the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is, I usually look at this card in terms of, yes, there were projects in the past that were half-baked. There were people that you dealt with where, you know, there was a lot of, creative differences between you and other people. And there might have been temper flare-ups, there might have been jealousy, there might have been envy. And it was a unhealthy work environment where no matter what you did, somebody was going to scrutinize, you know? And, and it felt like even when you gave 100%, there's always somebody on the sidelines uh, making, you know, comments, making criticisms, and, you know, just overall giving you, uh, giving you grief. And I feel like m many of you, you tried and tried your best, and you really try to appease everybody. And so this is the month where I feel like you're going to take a different route. It's like, I'm going to do what feels good to me. I'm going to go with my intuition. I'm going to trust that what I'm doing is for the greater interest of everybody involved, but also for my own sanity, for my own emotional well-being. So I'm sensing that many of you are not going to let this negative energy really affect you. And I'm also feeling as well, you are starting to detach yourself from business partnerships or people that come to you and want like a lot of extra free stuff from you or even extra perks from you and they don't really give you anything in return. And then on top of that, you might have, you know, given services and given gifts, given things to people. And they, you know, rather than appreciating the the gesture, I feel like instead they're like, oh, can you do this instead? Can you add more stuff to it? So they're like, they're making demands and they feel this sense of entitlement. So we're getting rid of this energy coming into December and I feel like some of you might have known these people for quite some time and you thought they would be good people. You thought they would be supportive. You thought they would, you know, really help you celebrate when success comes into the picture for you. But what ended up happening is I feel like, you know, there is a weaning away process, people leaving, and you had to physically remove yourself and kind of cut yourself away from people that were feeding you, you know, negativity or like taking you for granted. Um, taking for granted is what I'm feeling. And I feel like for many of you, this is like collaborators, people that came to you when you were flying high and they might not be there 
when you're at a low point. So I don't feel like these are friends. They're more like uh, acquaintances. They're more like colleagues. They're more like people that, you know, um, you could have had a lot of projects with, but for whatever reason, there were a lot of creative differences. There was also, I feel, mismanagement of money and somebody, it feels like there was like an, um, they overestimated how much money was involved and then they spent the money, the bulk of the money on very frivolous things and at the end of it, the project never got off the ground because the money was mismanaged. I feel like there's a major mismanagement happening here and as a result of it, it just never got off the ground. You had to walk away from it. So I feel like this is the month where, you know, it's like the, the, the lesson kind of sink in. At the time you were wondering what was going on. I knew something was off, but now I feel like you're going to get some clear signs or some clear indicators that money was mismanagement. Mon money was poured in towards like whining and dining and the money just wasn't there to get the project off the, gr the ground. And as a result of it, you might have, you know, spent a lot on drafting initial like business proposals, um, drafting like plans, having a blueprint laid out for these people, but then projects never got off the ground. And so after that whole uh, debacle, I do feel like things that are solid and stable and trustworthy are the ones that are still around. So I feel like we have a weaning away process where things that didn't work out, they're falling away. And I feel like this is the energy that is going to surface the first week of December where you're going to start to get these um, ideas or you're going to start to get um, some concrete evidence that, you know, what project is not getting off the ground and why. And there is a major theme here about financial mismanagement. And then moving forward, we have people that are sincere, that want to work with you, that have viable, you know, um, projects that are going to pan out and they're, that are going to be lucrative. So you have a lot of green light here about, you know, this is stalled, but these are working. So we're going to shift our energies to these avenues that are really working out well. And I feel like they're saying tried and true. So you might be collaborating with people that you've known for a really long time, with people that have a very good reputation under their belt, people that you've rubbed elbows with in the past, and now they're coming to you for collaborations. And I feel like there is a sense here of mutual respect, of mutual people who are, you know, creatively of mutual minds, because there's a lot of creative differences in this scenario, but there's a lot of harmony in this scenario, I feel like some of you might be musicians. The melody and harmony keeps coming out and I feel like it uh, denotes like some type of sound, some type of symphony, some type of a um, <clears throat> creative venture where it's like performing arts, dancing, movements and music. So I feel like you're collaborating with people that you get on with, that you have a great deal of respect for, that you have known but never worked with or you have worked with in the past or you have, you know, uh, known for a, a long time. So I do see a partnership where there is a great sense of complementarity. So we have here the chariot card and the chariot card. Basically, you see the uh, the black and the white horse. These are like complements of each other. So one person I feel like might be very, very type A. They're the planner, they're the um, the people that, you know, go out and, and make things happen. They shake and move things. And then you have another person, a, another partner, who's like on a little bit more on the passive side. They like to work behind the scenes. They like to, um, I want to say like, um, they like to do like the housekeeping, the bookkeeping, the behind the scenes stuff. So I feel like there is a great sense of complementarity, even though you might have very different ways of doing things. And even though you work at different pace, but I feel like this is somebody that you trust and this is somebody that you can pull your resources with, pull your energy together and move things forward because there is a great deal of strength and a great deal of mutual respect and appreciation for one another, despite your differences. So for some of you, I feel I feel like this is more business partner, um, bus like business partnership related. I'm also seeing as well like collaborators. 
And I feel like there's an element here of two people looking very different. So I feel like somebody might be a little bit, you know, darker skin, like on the tanner side, darker skin, darker hair. Somebody might have like lighter skin, paler skin, uh, lighter hair. So there's an element here of, um, I, I want to say interracial. I, I also want to uh, say like uh, ethnically, culturally, linguistically different, but everything works because, you know, we're all the same just at the uh, basis of it. So I feel like there is this sense here of mutual respect and great communication. And I feel like it's working out really well. Some of you for, for, for this uh, energy, I feel like it's a partner, it's a relationship partner where the two of you are there. I do see there's proposals here. So taking the relationship to the next level making a proposal to another person, creating a family together, or expanding the family unit, okay? So I see like children, um, I see pregnancies as well with this card, and also children being added into the family unit. Some of you as well are, um, if you've had disappointments, like, um, God forbid, but like miscarriages, or, you know, um, if you've been trying to get pregnant, I feel like this is the month where things are really going to go your way. And I'm also sensing as well, for whatever reason, I feel like you, your partner or you might want to get pregnant, but the timing was never right because both parties were either very busy or they were trying to get their professional life in order. And now that everything is smooth and harmonized, I feel like you're really thinking about, you know, family planning. Uh, adding new children into the family unit, getting married, getting proposed, and or proposing to another person. So we have a very, very big family and proposal vibe in here. So I feel like you and your partner, there might be cultural, linguistic, or even, you know, ethnic differences. And I feel like no matter what, it's working. And there is a lot of harmony and a lot of love in this spread. So whatever hesitations you've had whatever you know like i'm not really sure about this where are things going and whatever kind of like um self-doubt you've had i feel like all of those things are being uplifted all of the those things are kind of melting away you have a better sense of direction as to who you need to move ahead with what project which partner and especially um which collaborator and so there's a lot of creative energy here with the moon and the moon is indicating a situation where I do feel we do have, you know, the full moon in Gemini as well. So I feel like it, um, it reveals so that you can kind of break yourself out of this, this state where you were suspicious or you were thinking about, you know, something and you didn't really have proof. I feel like the moon, the moon came in, you know, especially that full moon in Gemini. We also have another new moon in Sagittarius in your opposite sign. And I feel like it's a great time to manifest new things. And it's just a great time overall for you to start new projects because you are getting that snippet of uh, clarity that's coming in that's necessary for you to move ahead. And not only, you know, move away from just thinking and living in your head, but making concrete actions and manifesting things in the physical realm so we have some really good things um family situations whatever problems there have been in the past they're going to clear up so these are great family cards okay communication support getting positive reception and getting positive feedback from family members i do feel very big proposal um coming into the picture and i'm also sensing as well for those of you who are um who are self-employed, I feel like they're saying strength in numbers. If you're self-employed and you're trying to do this on your own, I feel that you need somebody on board, okay? And I don't say this a lot for people because I feel like, you know, in, as individuals, we are more than capable of doing things on our own. And I rarely say that, especially with uh, dual signs like you and uh, Pisces and Libras. But I feel that you're going to realize the strength in number and you're going to realize who your friends are. You're going to realize who is a good business or relationship partner for you. And I feel like doing so is really going to help you. Um, it's like strength in numbers. So, you know, it's like one person has a skill 
that is a major compliment to the other person because the other person is lacking those skills. So one person might be very diplomatic, is great with dealing with the public, and the other person is very type A and uh, very blunt or curt when they talk. So I feel like these complementarities is what's really helping the business th thrive. It's also what's really bringing about harmony and it's going to really provide I feel like a more, you know, well-rounded business project or whatever it is you're trying to get off the ground. So you have some really good things coming in. Um, be, I don't feel like there are financial problems for this month, but I do want to say that I feel like last month there were a lot of bookkeeping things that you need to, you know, keep in, in mind and keep under wraps and, and keep, you know, um, keep the balance book balance okay so i feel like the there is an energy of that like a continuation of that um keep your inventory keep your bookkeeping um, make sure you're staying on top of these things don't be too lax when it comes to money leaving your hands okay um so i'm going to leave it at that gemini's i do wish you all the best and it looks very very good for the month of december take care of yourself okay i'll talk to you soon Bye bye